Exceptional news footage actually shows George Bush Sr. visiting Monsanto's research facility nine years before Roundup Ready soybeans were first sold. What I'd like to uh, do today is show you some of the steps we go through when we're moving uh, genes from uh, one organism into another. And you'll actually be doing the, the very little manipulations we do in the laboratory where we take DNA, cut it apart, mix different pieces together, and then rejoin splice. them, and splice them back together. This tube contains DNA that was made from a bacterium. The DNA see, would look the, the same whether it was from a uh, plant or what an animal. What are we animal. saying here? Oh, I see. And this what? will lead you to do what? To have a stronger plant or a plant that's that's uh, in this, resists uh, in, this case, or, uh, in this case, it resists the herbicide. I see. We have a fabulous herbicide. This is a chemical that will... When George Bush Sr. toured the company's headquarters, he was Ronald Reagan's vice president. And deregulation was this Republican administration's watchword. The intention was to boost industry by eliminating what White House hardliners called bureaucratic hurdles, like health and environmental safety testing, which were Monsanto's key problems. We have before USDA right now a, a request to test this uh, for the first time in a, on a farm in, uh, in Illinois this year. And uh, again, yeah. hallucinating about it, we'll listen up here. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, uh -huh. and then uh, the expense goes out and nothing happens because you can't. Yeah, and I would say, quite frankly, we have no complaint about the way USDA is handling it. Uh, they're going through an orderly process. They're making sure Very that thorough. they deal with these new things. They do them properly. And uh, now, if we're waiting until September and we don't have our authorization, we may <laughs> say something different. <laughs> Call me. We're in a direct business. <laughs> In 1988, when George Bush Sr. was elected President of the United States, Dan Quayle became the new Vice President. Four years later, he announced the American policy concerning GMOs, drafted just as Monsanto had wanted. We are taking this step as part of the President's Regulatory Relief Initiative, now in its second phase. The United States is already the world leader in biotechnology and we want to keep it that way. In 1991 alone, it was a $4 billion industry. It should reach at least $50 billion by the year 2000, as long as we resist the spread of unnecessary regulation. 